Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Donruss Baseball 4 box random team break number 5 from a fresh case. One spot gets you three teams right there. A lot of fun stuff here. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. So let's triple you up. One spot gets you three and all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a six nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Jason down to Nick. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, six. And ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Kansas City Royals down to the Cleveland Indians. Got a lot going on. We got March Madness. By the time this month is done, by the time we're in early April, we'll have the final four. We'll have opening day baseball. We'll have basketball getting closer and closer to the playoffs. We've got hockey action happening. We're NASCAR, golf, the Masters in mid April. We've got all sorts of fun things happening. Jason with the Royals, West with the Dodgers, Nick with the Rays and Brewers, Jason with the Padres, Blake with the Cardinals, Jeff with the Red Sox. Nick with the Pirates, Jeff with the A's, Blake with the Rangers, West with the White Sox, Nick with the Reds, Alec with the Angels and Giants, Jason with the Diamondbacks, Jeff with the Yankees, Nick with the Twins and Marlins, Alec with the Braves, Jeff with the Phillies, Alec with the uh, Mets, Blake with the Nats, Alec with the Mariners, West with the Orioles, Alec with the Astros, Jeff with the Cubbies, Nick Stober with the Blue Jays and Rockies, Jeff with the Rock, Nick with the Blue Jays and Tigers, Jeff with the Rockies and Nick with the Tribe. Let's get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B, by team. Let's box these up. And while you're considering trades, let's, uh, let's pop open this fresh case. It's kind of heavy. Let's see which four boxes we're going to do. Do I know a good app to keep track of all the NCAA games? No. I mean, I guess I just use ESP, the ESPN app to track all the scores. All right, there's the case right here. So let's make groups of four here. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go left and right on the randomizer first. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. So it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now there's eight boxes in this column here. So you can see on the top camera, four on the top, four on the bottom. So one, two, three for the top four, and then four, five, six for the bottom four. And it's going to be three. So it's going to be the top four right here. Right there. And this we'll save for next time. Next time we may just, just grab four random boxes. All right, let's flip back here. We're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades in the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There it is. Final printout. No, no deals were done, so that list remains the same. All right, and here it is. Donner's baseball. We got Kershaw. On the front, we're looking for three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. I think it generally falls to one auto, two relics is where that usually lands on average. I don't know what the ultra rare mysterious insert is, but I guess we'll know it when we see it.
Brandon, would I call buying baseball cards a gamble or an investment? Neither. I would call it a hobby. This is a hobby much in the way that Restoring a classic car would be a hobby. Collecting decorative Wizard of Oz dinner plates. Collecting, I don't know, vintage Barbie dolls. Bob Mackie dress designs on it. He like collecting things. No, this is a hobby. That's how, that's first and foremost, that's how everyone should, the mindset should be. This is a hobby first. And then, are there elements of investing and gambling? Yeah, there is. But first and foremost, you should consider this to be something fun, like a hobby. Pogs, Dame's name checking Pogs. When's uh when are Pogs coming back? Is there gonna be a Pogs revival? I feel like there's always like you know, there's always throwbacks to different eras, right? There has to be a Pog throwback at some point. I'll bet you in the next I'll say in the next one to three years, there'll be a Pogs revival and there'll be a whole summer of you collecting Pogs again and reselling them for disgusting amounts of money. <laughs> and then eight months later, a year later, it'll die out. But there'll be a Pogs year someday. All right, so only vet commons don't ship like these, but most of these cards will ship because there's just so many different inserts. You know, like all these different parallels and stuff. So most of the stuff that you'll see will ship. There's David Peterson for New York. We'll have those sleeved and top loaded before they go out, just in the interest of time. We're going to breeze through these. There's CJ Abrams, rated prospect to $9.99. That'll be for... San Diego, Jason. There's Jake Cronenworth also for San Diego to 2021. And we've got our first relic, Luis Robert. Nice. That'll be for the White Sox. That's going to go to Wes. There's a nice rated rookie, Joey Bart, as well. There's Ken Griffey Jr. for Seattle to 2021. That'll be for Alec. And we got a Donner's live stream, Aaron Judge, right there to 349. <laughs> Both Dame and Nick Pacello tried to expose their kids to pogs, try to show them what they're all about. Dame's kids are like, what the heck are those? Nick's kid just rolled her eyes at him. And went back to the iPad. There's Johnny Cueto. I don't think Donner's Baseball is is where you're looking for nicer relics. If you want nicer relics, Martin, there's Evan. You gotta you gotta look towards Immaculate and T Flawless. That's where your eyes have to go. The expectations for those aren't really too high here. There's Dalton Jeffries. Oakland. That'll be for Jeff. There's Pico de Gallo 
to 2021. Joey Gallo. Casey Mize, rated rookie. There's Josh Hader to 2021. I'll bet you that. I'm telling you, folks. There'll be, there'll be a pog comeback at some point. There has to be. There's Clayton Kershaw to 2021. What else could make a comeback? Rated rookie Joe Adele for the Angels is nice. That'll be for Alec. And a... I like these Unleashed cards right here. Luis Robert Unleashed to 999. dollars got that grizzly bear back there. It's pretty terrifying. Bobby Dalbeck, JT Realmuto. Dalbeck will go to the Red Sox, Jeff. JT Realmuto for the Phillies, that's also for Jeff. And there's Luis Capusano, 38 out of 99 for the Friars. That's going to be a second autograph, actually, two autographs in this box, going to Jason. Logan, are you hoping Pepsi Clear makes a comeback? Do you have. Tell, please tell me you have a case of Pepsi Clear in your basement. There's Jason Giambi to 2021. That will be Oakland edition going to Jeff and the A's. I guess he has the Yankees too, so it would, it would go to the right place. Ronald Acuna, live stream. There's the number to 149. Nick Madrigal. It's Roger Clemens. It's commemorating his 354 career wins to 126. You think we'll uh, you think we'll see uh, Alec Baum for the Phillies, Jeff? You think we'll see any pitcher get to 300 wins? It's Carlos Correa. There's so much middle relief, specialization, and all that. And closers and blah 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 blah. I don't think we're. I don't think we're gonna see that. Oh, there you go, Adam. Now you're thinking. Take a picture of the crystal Pepsi bottle, and then sell it as an NFT, and just let the millions of of pseudo money roll in. Liberty is out. Oklahoma State moves on. 69-60. We're going to take, take on Oregon State. It's an OSU versus OSU. And they're both similar colors, too. They're orangish. Burnt orangish. Wait, what are you waiting for, Martin? You're looking for for a return of maybe original flavor hot Cheetos? Logan needs a laser disc comeback. Logan has Zimas, Crystal Pepsis, and and crates of laser discs in his uh, in his basement. Is that whole region all orangish? Hey kids, let's watch this giant laser disc. Although the only thing good about the laser disc is I hear that there is a an edition of the original Star Wars trilogy that apparently is allegedly the best on laser disc. Like it's just after they updated the color and the sound, right? But before special edition where they added a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Illinois is orange. 
the Illini is orange. OK State, Oregon State, Tennessee, Syracuse, and Clemson. Yeah, I felt like they they probably did do that on purpose, Adam. Like the selection committee is just like, ah, uh, it's kind of late. I'm tired. You guys just want to put the uh, what, what region is that? Do we want to put the Midwest? Just you want to just put the orange teams in the Midwest, and they're like, yeah, sure. Wait, a they called them asteroids? No, I don't. I, they were in a container. I've never heard of that. And thus, never had them. She has Chisholm, Ian Anderson to 2021 for the Braves. Alec with the Braves. Mount Castle for the Orioles. That's for Wes. There's Raphael Devers. To 19, that's a pretty low number right there. Big, big happy face emoji there for for Jeff and the Red Sox. There it is, six out of 19 right there. Garrett Cole to 9.99. Nelson Cruz to 2021. And we've got a Garrett Crochet. White Sox, Wes Thomas. <laughs> Logan wants fashion designers to bring back the shoulder pads. They kind of, they kind of have. Shoulder pad made a comeback for a second. There's Cesar Hernandez for Cleveland. Nick Stover. But I don't think the, the boring, the boring pantsuit shoulder pad is going to make a comeback. It's Jose Ramirez to 100. Christian Pache for the Braves for Alec. There's Kyle Lewis, your Roy, to 2021. That's for Seattle, Alec. There's Shane Bieber to 9.99 for uh, Cleveland. That's for you, Nick Stover. And there's Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. That's going to go to Nick Stover as well. Huh. Yeah, I must have missed the whole Cheetos hot Cheetos hot asteroids phase. And there's Juan Soto. Piece of his jersey going to the Nats, Blake with the Nationals. But they tasted terrible, saying Martin. Does anyone else remember these? Or, or, or is this like some sort of Mandela effect happening to, uh, to Martin? What is that? Oh, it's Christian Javier. Brandon Belt to 2021 for the Giants. That'll be for Alec. Ryan Mountcastle for Wes in Baltimore. Andy Pettit to 2021. You know, we're getting crickets, Martin. I don't think anyone remembers that. I think you, I think uh, maybe it could be Mandela effect. You might have thought they existed, but they were something else. Raphael Devers to 400. And another unleashed, Nelson Cruz. To 349. Logan doesn't remember them. There's Jose Altuve to 2021.
Nick Madrigal to 2021 for the White Sox. Wes Thomas, he's supposed to be pretty good. Him and Andrew Vaughn. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. That'll be for, uh, for Nick Stover. Also supposed to be pretty good. Dwight Gooden, 2021. No one remembers Hot Cheetos Asteroids. What what era was this? What what year was this? Jake Cronenworth for the tri uh, for the Padres that is the Friars. Aaron Judge for Jeff and the Yankees. And Luis Robert to two forty nine. Late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, there were Cheetos flavor shots, and the flavor was Flamin' Hot Asteroids. And yeah, one of them does come in like a, like a, like a, almost looks like a plastic water bottle or something like with a screw top. They're real? <laughs> Did you post something on Twitter? Huh. There it is. Wow, there it is. Go to at Jaspi's Breaks. And Rob just, just tagged us with a picture on Twitter for that. But do you, Wait, Rob, but do you remember them, though? I, do, I don't remember this at all. Any other snackers that remember this? Oh, Robert, okay, so Robert actually remembers them. Right, so Martin's not going crazy. They are 75 cents a bag now, and the boxes used to be selling for hundreds on eBay. Why? You like to drink Surge, but it went away. Speaking of, remember, uh, remember Four Locos when that first came out, and it was like they had to change the formula, basically, because kids were were drinking a, a, lot, a lot too much of it, and uh, they would be like in the hospital with like heart palpitations and stuff like that because it was like. It was like caf it was like an energy drink with a boatload of caffeine and other energizer stuff and then loaded with like 10% alcohol or something something stupid. Um, like twice as much as a standard like light beer or whatever. Uh, yeah, Adam remembers some crazy four loco parties. Original four locos uh, were just all they had to change the formula. They had to put less caffeine in it. And everything, maybe a little less alcohol, but there are all these crazy stories about like, like, you know, people losing their minds, and they, that just. <laughs> the only reason why you remember is because you had to, you had to drive home, so you only had half of, <laughs> right. But you'd be wired on that. <laughs> I feel like I had some friends who, there's Aaron Judge, or Jose Altuve, 2021. I remember some people uh, stockpiling the original Formula Ones. They were selling out at like liquor stores. There's Jake Cronenworth for the Friars. That'll be for Jason Siebert. Because they were taking, taking the original ones off the shelves. 
So there were stories of like people like stockpiling pallets of original flavor Four Locos. And we've got out of 9.99 Giancarlo Stanton for the Yankees. That's for uh, Jeff. Ian Anderson for Wes. Sorry for Alec. 2020 on their names are right next to each other. But yeah, but now now the I don't even know if they make four locos anymore. But the the formulas after that were just were really nothing. And now hard seltzers are the thing. It's Christian Pache for the Braves to 250 for Alec. Remember, those will all be sleeved and top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out, of course, just in the interest of time. It's already 30 minutes into this break. I just want to be able to fly through these. There's Lu uh, Lucas Giolito to 2021. What is the, there's got, what's the next? I feel like we're, all, we're always, being, we'd be millionaires if we figured out hard seltzer before everyone else, right? There's Boba Shet to 249 Unleashed. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for Nick Stover. What's the next uh, adult beverage phase? I think... It's Kieber Ruiz, nice. 26 out of 99 for my Dodgers. I'm trying to think. There's, like, craft beer has got to be a big thing, right? Now there's a brewery on, you know, on every block. But craft beers are a thing and then that led to sort of an IPA craze oh they still make four locos Adam saying 24 ounce cans 14% alcohol but maybe no more caffeine I th yeah I think they reduced the caffeine pretty heavily on that there's Sixto Sanchez for Nick and the Marlins and we got a Dalton Jeffries for the A's that will be for Jeff Dorlak Uh, has there been and then craft beers and IPAs kind of led to and I guess they're still popular but kind of led to the hard seltzer phase so now there's a zillion hard seltzers out there there's got to be another trend that's coming up Josh Donaldson I guess maybe Andy Pettit, 2021 for the Yankees. Maybe like whiskeys? Some sort of whiskey thing. I feel like some something to do with that has to be next on the horizon. So Ozzy Smith to 402 for the Cardinals. That'll be for Blake. I think these the Statue of Liberty pattern ones. That's what that's what the that pattern is in the background. I think that's um, one per box. If I'm not mistaken. Steve Garvey goes to the Dodgers. Another Dalbeck for um, Jeff and the Red Sox. Joe Adele, the rookies, to 349 for the Angels. And Alec, another Joe Adele here, too. There's Reggie Jackson. I don't know, one of these days I want to I want to be on the forefront of some sort of moonshine. Yeah, maybe moonshine could be a trend. So that's kind of like craft beer, right? It's like people crafting their own beer, people craft their own whiskeys and scotches and bourbons and dis distill their own hard li liquor. Here's Reggie Jackson to ten. Um, that's that's California Angels edition, by the way. That's going to go to Alec and the Halos. Is Nelson Cruz to 2021? Christian Pache for the Braves, also for Alec. Got Kershaw to 999 for the Dodgers. Wes has my Dodgers. Another Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates for Nick Stover. Mike Trout to 2021 for the Angels. 
Ryan Mountcastle for Wes and the Orioles. Yadier Molina to 2021 for the Cardinals. And that's for Blake. Last box. All right. Next one. All right. You heard it here first. Moonshine. The next big thing. All those, all those craft brewing companies that have opened up in empty warehouses in your neighborhood will now turn into whiskey bars. Although there's a big whiskey scene in, in Los Angeles already, but it could be bigger. Do, uh, do kids still eat Tide Pods? Is that a thing? That was a thing for a while. All right, so yeah, Moonshine's already huge out east. In Utah, Logan's saying, so maybe we're on the cusp of, of a great business opportunity. So maybe if we if we if we can build like a like a moonshine bar or something like that. Right, yeah, they gotta be in the mason jars. These mason jars are pretty great. Matt DeLeo saying, yeah, the Tide Pod Challenge did not catch on like the top like Top Shot did. No, it did not. All right. Last box, we made it. Good luck. Jake Cronenworth to 2021 for the Padres. Casey Mize for the Tigers. That's going to be for Nick Stober. Trey Turner for Blake. There's Mike Yastrzemski to 2021 and Mike Trout. It's Kirlov, U Darvish to 999. I think that's still that's still Cubs edition of U Darvish. Going to Jeff. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. That'll be for Blake. Mike Soroka, keeping it 100. For the Braves, that'll be for Alec. Max Meyer for the Marlins. That's a nice one. To 149. Going to Nick Stober. Nick Madrigal, rated rookie. Mackenzie Gore. Kyle Lewis to 2021. Alec Baum for the Phillies for Jeff. And Tristan McKenzie. Cleveland, this is for you. Nick Stover with the tribe. Um, I like one ice cube in a uh, in in my whiskey. So if I have like a a glass of James and one ice cube.
Nick Madrigal to 2021 for the White Sox. Carlos Correa to 2021. Heber Ruiz to Wes and the Dodgers. Aaron Judge for Jeff and the Yankees. Joey Bart for San Francisco, Alec. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem with the with the moonshine, the alcohol content. But, but if they if that was somehow, you know, because it has, because people get fancy with those moonshine, they they can add flavors to it. They can do all sorts of things. It's already a TV show, like reality shows about the making of. It's Craig Biggio. It's only a matter of time before it's a mainstream industry. Put the put it, you know you have to cap the alcohol level, but maybe you can. With all those different flavors you can create and everything, might become a thing. All right, there's Mookie Betts, 75 out of 90 for my Dodgers. Wes Thomas. Oh, I am a Jameson fan, Robert. That sounds like a good. Uh, that sounds like a good good adventure. If I go to Florida, go to Raglan Road. Owners from Ireland bought. Barrels of Jameson, age them on their own. Some of the oldest Jameson you can get. I gotta, ch I gotta check that out. I've been really enjoying Jameson uh, Black Barrel. That's been pretty delicious. There's Jason Giambi to 2021, and we've got Ryan Jeffers for Minnesota at the end. That's for Nick Stober and the Minnesota Twins. There you have it, folks. That was four box random team number five, 2021 Panini Donruss baseball. I appreciate everybody hanging with me throughout this longer break right here. Here's a quick uh, relic auto recap, but tons of other numbered cards and rookies and rated rookies in that stack that are going to be going out. So that's going to be pretty nice. That Devers was to ten, some pretty nice stuff. There you go. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.